Jeremiah chapter 2. I remember the devotion of your youth. How as a bride you loved me. You followed me through the desert, through a land not sown. Remember, this is God speaking. And sometimes we think of God as like this machine up there, this, you know, with no feeling, He just judges, He just controls everything. You guys, listen to the words He uses. God is speaking to this nation and He says, I remember how devoted you were to me. else entices us and God's left there going what did I do my people have committed two sins they've forsaken me the spring of living water and they've dug their own cisterns broken cisterns that cannot hold water the people committed two sins one was they chose their sin but I think what really broke the heart of God was that they chose their sin over him God's going Wait a second. So you left me, the spring of living water, to go do your own thing because you thought maybe you could dig a hole big enough and then fill it up with water so this would be a better supply? He goes, and it's a broken cistern. It doesn't even hold water. That's what temptation is. Things that draw us away from Him. Things that we choose over a love relationship. And it's not that you don't love God. You love God, right? I mean, you love God in your heart, but every once in a while there's this reality of there's this real pull from inside of you towards something that God prohibits. And you're feeling it so bad and you're going, what is wrong with me? I know I love God. Why do I feel this way? We're going, God, I don't want to go there. And we know it's not going to fulfill. We know we can't be happy outside of God. But everything in us is pulling us that way. What do we do? Here's what we do. The Bible says, Fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. He says, set your mind on things above, not earthly things. It's the idea of a person being so focused on this love relationship, you're not even noticing anything else. You don't know what else is going on in the room. You're just so focused on Jesus, so in love and so thinking about eternal things. That's the idea. We have to run toward Jesus, the author and perfecter. We have to fix our eyes on Him so that all these things are dangling in front of our face, but we don't even notice it. There's one reason why you should walk away from whatever temptation you're facing right now. There's just one reason. God is better. He is. Is so much better. It's not even a comparison. God is better.